Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Hey, Walter. Yes, sir. Has the uh, ATF contacted you about the tail hook? No, no, I, yeah, I Walter, have no. Con- Walter doesn't manufacture the tail hook, so. Oh, I thought you manufactured yeah, the that. Yeah, the tail hook. The tail hook is from Gearhead Works. Yeah. Oh, okay, works. okay. Yeah. We just put that tail hook on our our yeah. brace type stuff. So. And, oh. And the thing is, so outside of um outside of Q that got contacted by the Honey Badger, um mm-hmm. John Crump from MLI News has done um, several articles on this. The ATF has contacted other companies, but those companies refuse to come forward. What they're doing instead is uh, negotiating or trying to negotiate be- behind the scenes with the ATF. So, um, you know, I-, I think there's probably suspicions about who those companies are, but I would say to you that, you know, it's it's not really public. There's definitely other companies that got hit with those letters, though. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. Not us. We didn't get one. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, And then, you know what, in another piece of gun news that I have to tell you guys, um, and this isn't like any, this isn't being reported anywhere right now, so far as I know, but I know this as facts, as facts. Do you guys remember the company Full Conceal? Who remembers Full Conceal? Walter does. You guys remember the fold, Full the, the folding Glock, the Glock folding Glock. Folds. Oh yeah, oh that yeah. idiot Glock. Oh yeah, yeah. now you know. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. All right, so first of all, it's <laughs> I, I like it, I like it. Rod Mills is on record; he doesn't like it. Uh, Armament and Axis, what's your opinion? I, uh, I have no opinion. I mean, I to me it's silly, but then again, yeah. I can see, I can see where it does, like the way you showed it, folded up in a small bag. Don't need everything. Yeah, but I don't know, just. More moving parts, more to go wrong, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. Walter, I had Walter look at it way before I got into it. I, I, I just like it because it's kind of gimmicky. You know, I just like, of course, yes. It's, it's well, last year at the SHOT Show, mm-hmm. I, put a, I put a deposit down on one. Yes. All right. And somebody, and somebody tried to tell you not to. <laughs> I don't but think anybody told me not to. Some, I think somebody said, hey, why are you doing that? Uh, Walter. <laughs> Somebody said, "Hey, Walter, why are you doing that?" Well, anyways, I think it was I think it was this guy, Hank Strange, said. But go ahead, Walt. Go ahead. It was supposed <laughs> to be four months. Something. You know, by April, we'd have the thing, right? Well, April came and gone, and you know, April, May, June, July, August, and it's like, hey, where's that can full conceal thing? Well, yeah. it happens at a lot of gun companies. Yeah. Um, some skull, skullduggery going on yeah. behind the scenes. That and, company's not really in business anymore. So I hope. I honestly hope there's folks out there who have not, who haven't, like, I hope there's not people out there who've given them their money. I did a charge because, back on my credit card yeah. and I got the money back. Because so. I could tell you that that company is pretty much kaput. From what I'm hearing, the guy uh, that you that you saw me probably talk to in videos, Mike, the guy that was the inventor of that thing, basically, uh, you know, jacked up the company uh, from his partners and all that kind of stuff in there. And they're in some uh, legal situations right now. Um, mm. But, you know, if you actually put money down on buying something from that um, from that company, you're probably uh, out of luck. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to well, say that. So, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I think by the end of this year, I'm going to get one of those shorty shotguns. So. Um, oh, really? Yeah, what, what is that called? What is it called again? A keg twelve. Keg twelve. Yes, I think I'm gonna get one. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, go ahead. We have a few in stock. I don't know if we have any seven inch guns in stock. We have ten inch guns. I think there's some four tens also too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tyvin's Tyvin's favorite, the four ten. Yeah, the four ten. That's the one I like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you'd have to. I'd have to. I'd have to check the inventory and get back with you on that one. But we okay. do have, mm-hmm. we do have them, and they're at reduced prices too. By the way. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're good together on that, Walter. So when that second Trump, the Trump money comes out again, that second round, mm-hmm. and all those people start to go get trained, you know what? Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll talk. We'll talk then, man. We'll talk. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'll try. I'm, is there, I'm, is I'm really gonna... thinking. 
Is there going to be a special border edition to that? I'm just curious. No, no. I'm just, those the ones I'm doing for them. I'm doing their. I, I converted their guns. Okay. And then um, I made one just for me. So, and it's 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 the same as my regular gun. It's just got a breecher, but they're using the Packmeyer grip, the Packmeyer shotgun grip, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is kind of look like it. It looks like a a revolver grip. It's mm -hmm. got a con uh, an adapter to put on the shotgun. So, 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 uh, can you make a border patrol special or something like that? You know, some people. I mean, it's, it, it's it's basically our seven inch gun with a with a with a one inch, with a one round mag tube extension and a breacher break. Mm -hmm. I could. Yeah. So. Um. This is just a suggestion for me. Put a zombie um on it, zombie logo on it, and call it call <laughs> it the border patrol. Uh, See what? I'm yeah. <laughs> that would be sweet. <laughs> oh, you know what? Put put the um, what is the hazardous material sign on it? Biohazard. Uh, put, uh, yeah, biohazard, and then uh, um, you know, yeah, something like I'm just, that. I'm just surprised he didn't want it called the Hank, because you know. Oh no uh, no, that's, uh, <laughs> everything's. The Hank. I've already come to yeah. real, Walter's not doing it. That's I already right. realized at, at some point you you you've got to like you know you gotta, give up the ghost. You got to realize. You got to realize. <laughs> Walter Walter's not doing it. Um, listen, we got people talking about uh, DCG forty four says gun companies are not immune to business woes and shenanigans any more than other companies. Nope. True. Nope. True. Yep. yep. And I'm going to tell you, never pay a company for something that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you guys right now. No matter how cool something is, no matter how long that company's been in business, if they have a thing that doesn't exist and they try to get you to pay for it in advance, don't do it. That's just that's just my advice. Kathleen Music Lover has jokes. She says, I'm waiting for my folding revolver. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh, it'll probably reappear in another. Um, yeah, it'll be back uh, out at some point. Yeah. Uh, Rodney Brady says, I miss Hudson. I have one, and I don't even shoot it. Um, mm. That's cool. Hold on to it, Rodney. Guess what? The Hudson H9 is coming back. Um, yeah, but it's not coming back yeah, straight did, up. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's coming back different, so yours might become a little collectible. Because didn't uh, – is it Daniel Defense that bought them? Yeah, they're, they're uh, making changes, though. They're making yeah. changes. I, I think say, Daniel I thought Def Hudson themselves totally went out of business. Yeah, Hudson they? is out yeah. of business, but Daniel Defense, yeah. I think, bought the rights to that. Um, okay. And, you're you know, Daniel Defense has put out a bolt action. You'll probably see them, uh, you know, they'll be putting out a, a, you know, a pistol soon here, handgun. You know, I guess. Who knows? They might put out a folding Glock one day, maybe a folding revolver even. <laughs> who you knows? Know. Uh... uh... Holding revolver. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Motor wow, the, the says, little, uh, "Didn't little, Hank put?" Leo in my head spinning. Yeah. <laughs> Motor voter says, "Didn't Hank put a deposit on a Tesla truck?" Laugh out loud. I had to. Um. Uh, yes, I did actually. I I've got an order in for the well, not an order. I put a deposit, so I'm in the line for the uh, Cybertruck. Absolutely. You know. And by the way, and by the way, in the strange family, there's currently a Tesla. Boom. But I'm not. A, but I'm not a. I'm not a communist, though. So there you go. Oh. Yes, there's a Tesla. That's what I said. You heard me right. Oh, okay. Yeah. He. That means that means that. I translate. He bought one. They bought yeah. one. <laughs> I'll translate. Yes, yeah. there is a Tesla. Um, it was kind of my idea because I wanted to try out Teslas and the whole technology, see if electric cars were any good. What I thought about it. So I was like, oh, I'll get one, try it out. The problem is Lola has uh, basically commandeered that thing. So, but you guys will yeah, see but, me do some videos every now and then with it. She likes it though. She drives. You can't it. drive. Uh, you can't drive two vehicles at one time. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. What's the, uh, what's the zero to sixty on that? How long? Um. So it's the Model Y long range. So the zero to sixty, it's not the perform. It's not the performance model which has like a 3.2 or something. The long range has a 4.6, 0 to 60. That's not bad. Which is, yeah, which is not bad. Um, well, bad. Electric, electric motors wind out almost instantly. That's yeah. why they're so yeah. quick. Yeah, it's it's pretty fast. Um, and it's all-wheel drive. It's a dual motor, so it's all-wheel drive, which is a prerequisite for me. I'm not driving anything that's uh, just rear-wheel drive. Uh, 
you know. So I guess, uh, you know, how my often? pickup truck, I got to do that. But maybe when I get the cyber truck, it'll be all wheel drive all the time. You know. Um, so Hank, Hank, you're not using petroleum in that, right? That's all electric. Yeah, yeah, all okay. electric. Cool. It's still how using petroleum and coal and whatever else we burn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I don't know if people realize that. Like most of our electricity is coming from coal right now, and then I think after yeah. coal, after coal, it's it's um, oil, right? And then ga- like natural gas or something that we get. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with burning coal. Mm-hmm. There's this, there's this, there's this idea that somehow coal is going to destroy the planet. Mm-hmm. Yep, they have all the same pollution stuff on that coal burner as they do on the gas burner, as they do on the diesel. I mean, the oil burning power plants mm-hmm. that's like i was saying about the 70s and all that, the the scrubbing technology and all that stuff mm-hmm. yeah okay if you were just burning coal and it was going right into the atmosphere it'd be different mm-hmm. but that's not the case guys that's not the case yeah. um, we have I, we have coal for we have enough coal for i think for like 300 plus years so yeah, what are you going to do, do you give it to the chinese a, do you know do you know what happens when a volcano erupts <laughs> the, the the world as we know it comes to an end yes <laughs> Like, if a volcano erupts, do we get yeah, to sue yeah, it? Yeah. Do we get it to yeah. pay for carbon points? You get you get a jillion <laughs> tons of that stuff in the atmosphere in a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, report yeah. that I heard about that, and this was years ago, was every time a big volcano erupts, like Mount St. Helen or anything like that, it it puts more crap into the atmosphere, more ozone depleting crap than any of us could do in a hundred of our lifetimes in this day and age. Mm-hmm. So, That's... yeah. Yeah. They've been erupting for how long? Still in atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. We're still here. Yep. Don't worry, that, though. That's a natural get the, occurrence. Yeah. They're trying to get rid of the cows because of the cow farts. You know that, right? That's why they're trying yeah. to make us eat, like, the fake the fake meat. No. Yeah. No. So, no. Not, not going to no. do. <laughs> no. Not going to do. Not going to do not the fake meat. Me. Yeah. As George Sr. said, not going to do it. Not going to do it. Not going to do, 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 do it. Would not be created at this juncture. <laughs> no, not going to do it. <laughs> and what did he do? He did it. <laughs> Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.